Good morning, world. And uh, is there anyone out listening? Does the sound work? Great. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Stephanie. Irene, why, David, good morning, everyone. I'm happy to have you log on and happy that uh, we have this chance to meditate together. I'll be back on in a couple of minutes. Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday morning sitting together and very much appreciated all the people who have logged on and here to meditate together. It's fantastic. And um, <clears throat> so to begin this sitting, I would like to say that the theme for this week's little talks is uh, effort <clears throat> and related to effort is uh, something that could be called energy or vitality. And hopefully when we sit down to meditate, we have some degree of physical vitality. Even if we're tired, we can find a little bit that's there. So as we begin our sitting here, perhaps closing your eyes, and finding inside your body, where are the areas of your body that have the most vitality, the most energy, the most sensations, where the sensations of your body seem most active, alive, where there's perhaps a sense of vibration or humming. Perhaps a few places where your muscles are engaged to hold yourself upright. Maybe in the lower back, up the spine. And perhaps a few places you're engaging muscles that are not needed for this moment. And that also is a manifestation of some energy or vitality, force. And perhaps the extra holding and tension, you can soften and relax. Softening the shoulders. And as we soften the body, relax, a different quality of energy or vitality might appear in those parts of the body. Softening the belly, perhaps relaxing the legs, softening the thighs, lower legs,
Perhaps the hands can be relaxed a little bit. Softening of the arms, area around your elbows. Again, softening the shoulders, the area around your shoulder blades. And sometimes there can be a lot of vitality, energy, vibration, humming in the area of the face. The face often is activated in our way we relate to the world and activities. And to sit and meditate to soften, relax the muscles of your face. Maybe to give your face a rest, a break. And then to feel a generalized hum, vibration, force of vitality in whatever way it appears in your body. And certainly all the sensations you feel in your body are a a manifestation of aliveness, living movement, living expression of life within you, physically in your body. And perhaps you can adjust your posture a teeny bit to make more room for your vitality, to allow it to be a little bit more present and supportive of this period of meditation so that a physical vitality supports the vitality or the energy of being aware, being mindful. And there's a way in which awareness has a kind of vitality or its own expression of life that can be felt if you realize that it's a natural phenomena to be aware. While you can engage awareness, be aware, do awareness, sometimes it's possible to simply relax the mind, soften the mind, to recognize that it's the function of the mind to be aware. There's a way in which awareness doesn't have to be done. It's more like getting out of the way of a natural functioning. Letting go of our preoccupation with thoughts and tuning in to how the mind when not distracted or caught up in things, we'll be aware without any effort on our part. Even if it's just for a few moments. And to support our capacity to be aware, you can Allow the body's experience of breathing to be the home of awareness. Allow the body's experience of breathing to be welcomed into your awareness. So awareness has a present moment phenomena in which to remember 
to be here and now. And as we sit here, for you to appreciate on the vitality of the body breathing intersects with the vitality of the mind being aware, a relaxed vitality. And that meeting between the body and mind, between the body breathing and the mind's aware, stay close to that meeting place. Let there be a partnership between breathing and awareness, mutually supportive, keeping each other company, accompanying each other here, now.
the more we get lost in thought, the further away from the living, pulsing, breathing vitality of the body do we become. Keep opening awareness to the living energy, vitality that's here keeping you upright, seated, that allows you to breathe. But if there's a lot of energy where the vitality goes pouring into thinking, feel the energetics of that. Feel the strong areas of tensions and sensations associated with breathing. Take a few moments to really feel it, know it, independent of what you're thinking about. And then see if there's a way of transferring that vitality and energy to being aware, to being aware of your breathing. where the vitality of the body breathing is touched by the vitality of the mind, the mind aware.
as we sit here in the vitality of the body, it might be interesting to reflect that this body of ours is made up 100% of recycled material. That all the substance of our body, the atoms, the molecules, have been received from outside and incorporated into our body. And those molecules and atoms have been made many places, many, many forms over the span of time. Now they have their time in our bodies, being our bodies. And that the energy, vitality that keeps this physical body going and alive and active, that's in a sense borrowed energy that's been lent to us by the universe for a short while. And that as we use it and live with it, it will pass on from us into the world around us in some form or other. That our aliveness, what keeps us alive, what keeps us in a body, are in a certain way things that we borrow or have received as gifts for this time. And as we are gifted with all this, so may our life be a gift. May the way that we use this precious body, may the way in which we use the energy of the cosmos that passes through us. May the vitality and energy of our minds, may all of these be appreciated, valued, and be used to return the gift. May it be that our our life is a gift for the well-being, the happiness, and the harmony of all living beings and of the world itself.